we'll get started. Thanks everyone for joining us. Uh, I'm Ryan Spateri, the Communications Manager here at the Brant County Health Unit. Um, here with me I have Dr. Elizabeth Urbanke, Acting Medical Officer of Health at BCHU. Um, as per usual, we'll do a quick roll call for all those joining us. Samantha Lee, Brent got one. Patty Berardi, Rogers TV. Michelle Ruby, the expositor. All right, thank you very much. In a moment, I'll turn it over to Dr. Banky to make a brief statement. Um, if you could put your phones on mute if you're able to, we'd appreciate it. And we'll save questions for the end. I'll now turn it over to Dr. Banky. Thank you for joining us today. I'd like to start by sharing an update on outbreaks at long-term care and retirement homes in our community. On May 13th, the outbreak at Briarwood Gardens Retirement Home was declared over. The case of one staff has been resolved. An outbreak is declared when there are no new cases, uh, declared over, sorry, when there are no new cases in residents or staff 14 days after putting the last case into isolation. As of May 13th, there are no ongoing COVID outbreaks at any long-term or retirement homes in our community. The mass testing of our retirement homes in our community is scheduled to wrap up today. As of today, 11 of 12 retirement homes have been tested. Um, including two, 626 residents and 344 staff. In total, 2,905 tests have been administered to residents and staff in long-term care and retirement homes in our community. As we approach this Victoria Day long weekend, I'd like to stress again that residents should be avoiding all gatherings of more than five people and ensuring people that they stay two meters or six feet apart from those outside their immediate household at all times. We need to follow this guideline so that we can avoid seeing a rate of infection rise again. We understand this weekend is usually reserved for socializing and enjoying the warmer weather, but unfortunately this year is going to have to look a little different. You can still go outside and get active. We simply recommend that while outside, you make sure to avoid crowds and maintain a distance of over two meters or six feet from those around you outside of your household. In addition, by continuing to wash your hands frequently, practice respiratory etiquette, and by wearing a face covering in public spaces, we will continue to see the results of everyone's efforts to date. We do not want to see a spike in cases in a week or two if people become complacent. Thank you, Dr. Bank. You will now open things up for questions. Dr. Urbanti, it's Samantha Lee with Brent.1. I'm wondering if um, you are about ready to start moving on to testing the general population now that the testing of all retirement home and long-term care facilities have been conducted. Um, so the general population, if they have been symptomatic, um, have certainly been able to get tested um, at, um, at any uh, up to date, um, certainly there were some priority populations, but uh, those uh, with symptoms um, are able to get tested. Are you a little concerned um, now that the province is loosening up some of the emergency orders with a number of different businesses being allowed to open tomorrow and then again on Tuesday? I, I'm not concerned specifically about um, the numbers. I am concerned that uh, people, once again, will become complacent and um, not uphold the individual um, measures that need to be taken, as I mentioned, with the hand washing, maintaining that six foot, two meter distance, respiratory etiquette, and um, wearing face, uh, face covering. So the... Uh, the plan has been is gradual um, to allow people to become accustomed to it, um, but I do I am concerned. I know it's been a long, hard um, few months, um, and we need to take baby steps to ensure we keep going in the right direction. Um, Dr. Urbanke, do you have any idea when the test results will be available for uh, the, the testing at the retirement homes that was done this week? Um, so the testing turnaround time um, that we've been seeing has been about uh, uh, two to three days. So some of those tests have started coming back. Um, 
So I would expect by um, early to mid next week that we should have all um, the test results back and have a picture, a, a good picture of what's been happening. Okay, thank you. Um, it's Patty from Rogers. Uh, Kitchener, their health unit, the Waterloo Region, had reported that some of their cases that, or some of the tests that they were sending in weren't being uh, tested quickly enough, so the results were coming back inconclusive or leading people to have to be retested. Do you know if we've had any incidents of that happening in our community? Um, over the, not just right now, but over Time. We've had an occasional inconclusive or indeterminate test, um, but not any big groupings that I'm aware of. Do we know if any of the child care that is open have any outbreaks, or have they all been tested and cleared? Um, the All the staff um, that, uh, for child care were tested. Um, as of last weekend, um, one uh, child care worker was found to be positive for COVID-19. This co worker was a close contact of another confirmed case. As soon as the, um, the child care worker only uh, cared for one child, and as soon as the index case, meaning the person that was initially affected, not the, uh, the child care worker, began feeling sick, the uh, child was removed from the center and it was closed. It's been now 14 days um, since that time, and the uh, child remains uh, asymptomatic. 